Hello there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you are watching from. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Extensible. So I did a video on how to connect two systems together using one for uh, Bible Show or Easy Worship and using the other system for Vmix. And a lot of people say I should do a uh, search video on how to connect two systems together using OBS and uh, Bible Show or Easy Worship. So this video is how to connect two systems together, one for OBS and one for Bible Show Easy Worship. Yes, how to connect it together and it's going to be live streaming on your OBS. Okay, this is how to do it. Stay tuned and don't forget, my name is Joseph Olasukomi and this is Extensive All. Okay, so I'm not going to waste much time in this video. Uh, quickly, um, you can either connect two systems using HDMI cord or LAN cable or VGA cord. I don't have a VGA cord. And um, my system that I'm using Windows 11 for OBS does not have a VGA port, but the system I'm going to be using for Bible Show and Easy Worship has uh, HDMI port. It has HDMI port, it has VGA, and it has LAN cable. But this other system using uh, OBS does not have HDMI. It does not have, okay, it has VGA and it has LAN cable. So I'm going to bring this LAN cable to connect both of them together. This is how this is the OBS because of my LAN set, that's why it's kind of in shape. And this is the system I'm use for my Bible show and it will make it that it is not really that fast to the land. Use it for my stream and the rest like that. No button is one slow and so once I've collected, there's gonna show lights in which both them. So in and then there are times and show you know be the lights or white lights. Yes. Go ahead up connected, um press radios, tip, windows and tip. Press both of them together. More to see the three options, oh, sorry, four options. This is the only um, duplicates, extend, and uh, support screen on this product. This thing is like, like this side. So we press extend for extension to extend it over to the other side. So it's going to blink a little bit like that, so you know it's connected. So once you remove it the way you press the Windows P, it should still be on extend. But if it's not on anymore on extend, you know that the system can't. Um, you can't extend without HDMI ports. So, you know, it's not also that I can extend using LAN cable. All right, so once you do that, we're also going to need something. All right, so once you extend it, we're going to have to download and install VMIX. I'm not using VMIX though, don't get me wrong, I'm not using VMIX. I'm only using a package that comes with VMIX. VMIX comes with a package which I uh, really much like, which is a uh, VMIX desktop capture. That is going to allow your desktop on the other screen to be captured to send it because it's not enough to just connect to LAN cable together. You also have, um, you also need desktop capture. You can download desktop capture separately though, or you can just install VMIX which comes with it right, automatically. So I'm going to take my phone right now so to show you the desktop capture. This is the system which I'm going to use to be doing um, the Easy Worship and the Bible Show. So I'm going to go over here to VMIX and which you see desktop capture. This is it. This is what I'm going to be using. VMIX desktop capture. If you see numbers like five, six, seven connection, you know you are connected. But if you see zero connections like this, you should know there's something wrong with your connection that you like to resolve when you connected well or something. Or at times it means you have not actually sent anything yet. So let's see if it's a connection or because I've not actually sent anything yet. So I'm gonna minimize that. Let's go to our Bible show. I'm gonna be opening Bible show. Let's load a little while. Okay. Okay, so this is our Bible show. It has opened finally. Let's just uh, go to straight to configure. I'm gonna go straight to configure. We want to configure it. Gonna put it in display windows, not in the output action in display windows. Then put them monitor two because your monitor two is the other system, other monitor connected, which from the LAN cable is this system. But your monitor one is to this screen. You want to connect to this screen. That's the monitor one. It's the monitor one. Monitor two is the other one. The monitor two is not really full screen. I don't know how to change that yet. I'm okay, still working on that. But for now, in my wish is full screen, but over here is not showing the full screen as wide as this monitor one. So here yeah, I have put it in one it also display windows. Let's try to project a scripture and I'll just put some or some to this name. Once you press enter twice, it should be showing in also enter here, some to this name. All right, so let's check our screen or the other screen we are projecting to. Okay, so this is our OBS over here. If we are connected to it, we're going to see it over here in sources. I'm going to add source, NDI source. Um, OBS does not automatically come with NDI source, so I did a video on how to download this NDI source. So in case you don't have NDI source, I'm going to put in the, uh, the link to the video on 
this description video also to download this NDI source. All right. So we're just going to put it. Let's say this is Bible. Bible. All right. So enter the source name. Let's see. Um, we're not going to put display the two or Bible show two. No. Let's go to display two. This is it over here. Display two. This is the Psalm two verse nine. We are projecting over there. So press OK. And you know, it's not really full screen from what we see over here. So I'm just going to uh, hold on shift on your system and drag it over here. So this is it over here. Your Bible is really working like that. Or in case, you know, of um, when you want to, how do I put it? Or when you want to have it like a picture in picture, this is actually going to work because it's not really full screen. I'm just going to put it this way, put it in one corner. Then put in your pastor portion over here and put in your lower thirds of your social media and do something like this over down here. Put in your pastor portion here, put in your logo up there. And yeah, you want to do it, so that's it. So this is how you connect it. Let's try easy worship also and see how it is. So I'm just gonna minimize this over here. I'm just gonna minimize it. You can see the strength to connection to it because we already send it to it. Okay. So, um, there is my easy worship. My easy worship book is over here. We're gonna double tap on it. Loading, give it the time to load. Okay, so this is our easy worship over here. We're just gonna go straight to edit. Once you go to edit, you want to see options, click on options, and you see some options in the middle over here. Yes. So, just like how we did the um, Bible show, so I want to do it over here in one or two. One or two. If you're not seeing one, does it mean I'm not connected? So we second monitor so we will die and press OK and let's um do any song and once the one you do it you're gonna see it over here once you remove this Bible show by pressing escape and if you go to Bible show you will see your lyrics over here down here let me just show you so um this because of that um copyright that is showing I'm about to go to copyrights final by moving the duration to zero seconds, so the copyright will be right. So the way you will press, the way you show any Bible is going to overlay what is over here. And the way you press escape, I'm going to press escape right now, it's going to remove it and it's going to show your easy worship. And that is how you connect two systems from one using Bible show or easy worship to the other one using OBS. All right, so this video has been very useful to you. Please don't hesitate to like this video so this channel can suggest it to everyone searching for how to connect to system using OBS and uh, Easy Worship or Bible Show or any other um, software you want to use. You can send them instantly to your OBS. That is how you do it. And please and please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this YouTube channel by joining this amazing family. Press the subscribe button and uh, click on the notification bell also to get notified. Make like I post a new video, you get notified and you watch, you learn new ideas, new things, new technologies, new ways to project different, different things. All right. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget my name, Joseph or last call me and this is extensible if you have any uh comments if you have any questions feel free to comment it under this video i'm going to um help you as best as i can i'm going to reply you and if you can't uh comment if you have any personal questions you can message me on whatsapp i want to put my whatsapp link in uh the description of this video also. so you can uh, message me on whatsapp i'll put my instagram link also you can message me on instagram and um, you can also comment on this comment section thank you very much for watching this is just a woman's and this is extensive don't touch that down